Worldwide, a child is diagnosed with cancer every three minutes. Firefighters from around the state have been raising awareness and funding to help in the battle against cancers affecting children for the past seven years through an event called St. Baldrick's. With us now to share more about St. About Baldrick's are Paul Fierce and Tom Paraskindola from the Rio Rancho Fire Department. Welcome. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. I love St. Baldrick's. Um, I shaved my head four years ago, and I'm all about it. But for those viewers who might not know what St. Baldrick's is all about, tell us about the event. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a group of firefighters. We started the event several years ago. We got uh, It's growing every year. Uh, we're trying to get people to come out and show support for children's cancer. We shave our head to show solidarity with those children going, undergoing treatment. Over the past six, seven years, we've raised over 130000 almost $140,000. This year, we're well on track to break another $30,000 into that amount. Uh, so we're trying to get people to come out and support us and uh, come out and shave your head, come out and donate, come out and take a look at what we've got going on. We've got a good show on Sunday. Yeah, so what other types of things will you have at the event? Well, it's a family-friendly event. So, I mean, there's, there's about 100 uh, uh, people, and it's not just firefighters. There are other organizations and businesses involved uh, that have uh, uh, formed teams that they're going to shave their heads and raise money. Uh, but th there's uh, a lot of fun things for kids to do. We're going to have fire apparatus for them to crawl around on a rock wall, jumpers, food, oh, music, all kinds of things. You have a lot of stuff, especially yep. for, the, for the kids. So um, I have to ask, why, and you guys can, I'll start with you, why do you guys shave your head? Well, you know, we as firefighters, we, you know, we, we get into this business to, uh, to help people. Uh, but this kind of just is an extension of that. You know, it's, it's a community service uh, that goes beyond uh, responding to a 911 call. Mm -hmm. Uh, for some of us, it, it's personal. Uh, there's uh, several kids that uh, uh, that have touched my life, and and uh, and I'm honoring them. And there's there's three children that uh, were either uh, uh, friends of my family or or uh, 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 somebody that I know personally, and they didn't make it to the age of seven. Uh, they they uh, they they uh, uh, were victims of cancer, and so we're trying to prevent that uh, from happening. And, it's, and it, be, it becomes personal sometimes, and so so I grow my hair out every year and and uh, and take this on. Yeah. And so, you're <laughs> obviously, not... I don't have as much to contribute yeah. <laughs> as Chief Beers. Uh, I do it because I can. Uh, you know, I've, like I've tried to explain to people is the the families that suffer from this disease that that are that are forced to deal with this. The children they don't have the time to go out and raise money. Mm -hmm. I have a beautiful, healthy family. I'm going out to help them raise money. Uh, I, one of my coworkers, you said, why wouldn't you? You know, we have yeah. the time, we have the energy, we have the ability to do it. So let's do it. Let's let's go out and, and it help grows these back. kids. It does. It does. It for does. some people, it does. Yeah, it, well, it didn't necessarily okay. for him. It no. looks great. With, yeah. mm. He's going to lose his mustache. Yeah, I'll lose my mustache on Sunday. Oh, all right. Well, that's that's good. So are you guys close to your goal? Uh, our goal this year was 40000 mm -hmm. We're about two thir or a third of the way there. Uh, right. We're trying to keep pushing. That's a very high goal. It's a 25% increase over last year. We raised 33000 so if we get to last year's amount plus a little bit, we'll be almost satisfied. Mm -hmm. But with a little bit of help and uh, everybody coming out to support us, uh, we'll, we'll get close to that goal if not, if not make it all the way there. Yeah. So how can, pe can, can people still sign up? Can they still get invo Absolutely. involved? Absolutely. Uh, our, our website, www.stbaldricks.org. Okay. I think you guys have a link for it. You can mm -hmm. sign up. You can get all the information for the event. Um, you can register as a team, register as a shavee, register as a volunteer. We could always use the help. Okay, so you still need volunteers. Always, Absolutely. always need okay. help. Okay, do you need barbers anymore? Uh, barbers, I think we've got barbers pretty much taken care of, but need we need people to, to man those stations, the mm -hmm. jumpers, the rock wall, the fire trucks. We need people around to help people and direct them. So, so. if people, I mean, if you don't want to shave your head, you can still get out and help with this amazing cause. Absolutely. So can absolutely. you share when and where the event is? Uh, we're going to be at Santa Ana Star Center on Sunday morning uh, from noon to four. Uh, doors will open at noon. Uh, we're going to have, um, again, all those events coming up for the families. We're going to have food available. We've got Irish dancers and live music and things awesome. like that. So um, just come out and see us again noon to four Santa Ana Star Center on Sunday from on this Sunday. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. Thank for everything, for being here and for <laughs> sharing this awesome cause. So for more information about St. Baldrick's and how you can get involved, head to casa.com and click on the style blog.